What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here and in this video I'm going to talk about my morning routine. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about what I do, when I, first thing I do when I wake up um, or um, how does my morning usually go and I would say it depends. It depends on which rotation that I'm currently on. Uh, it depends on how many patients that I need to see that morning. Uh, and it also depends on um, what else I have going on kind of outside of medicine. Because uh, I do do a lot of things uh, for my personal uh, business outside of medicine that do take up some time as well. But in general, in medical school, I would generally wake up, um, if it was a non-test day, I would wake up about an hour or an hour and a half before class start started. Um, class usually started at 8 a.m., so I would wake up maybe 6.30 a.m., and I would review um, lecture for that day. Say, for instance, we were going over uh, tumors and the GI system. I would quickly review the uh, syllabus and the notes just so I can have an idea of what uh, to expect during lecture. Um, and when you hear it again in lecture, you're more likely to remember it that way. So I would uh, just spend a little time reviewing it. I may do some questions. Um, and also, while I'm doing this, I'm eating my breakfast as well. Maybe uh, some oatmeal and some scrambled eggs or uh, some egg whites or something of that uh, nature. Um, I'm not a big person of working out early in the morning. Um, in the military, that's what we did. We got up 4.30 in the morning and we worked out. Uh, once I got out the military, I was like, I'm not, never doing this again. This is terrible. But um, I usually work out, I like to work out in the evening time, um, after school or after work. Um, on test days, what I used to do, say for instance we had a test at 7.30 in the morning, I would wake up maybe 4 o'clock in the morning uh, because I feel like you can uh, recall the information a lot better on your test if it's fresh in your mind. So I would have notes that I had written out maybe on one to two sheets of paper that um, kind of summarizes the key points or little small details that I wanted to remember and uh, I would review those notes maybe do a few more questions and review a few more things uh, and I, I used to go to school to go to the library and I would be the first one there at 5 o'clock in the morning 4.45 and those two hours were probably the most productive hours of my morning because you have uh, this test anxiety, uh, you're nervous because of the test and you have this anxiety so and you're stressed, so I, I think that you're able to remember a lot more when you're stressed and uh, you have a test coming up in maybe an hour or two hours. I, I think it's, cr it's crunch time and your body just uh, helps you remember information a lot easier that way. Um, in residency, it depends on what rotation I'm on. I'm currently on a pediatric orthopedic surgery rotation, which is not that busy. If I was on trauma surgery rotation, I would have to get there maybe at 5.45 a.m. So I would wake up maybe 45 minutes, an hour before that, and re quick, quickly review uh, some patient charts to see where my patients, what room that they were located in the hospital so I can go see them or to uh, review their, their labs as well. Um, but it all, all depends on which rotation I'm on. The, the majority of the time I'm getting up and I'm reviewing my patient's chart to see what happened overnight. See if they needed um, any new labs that need to be drawn, if I need to give them any, uh, replace their calcium or, or any type of uh, electrolytes that need to be replaced. Make sure their H&H &H or their hemoglobin and uh, hematocrit are acceptable after doing surgery and the majority of the time I'm either doing that or I am reviewing for the case that day. So, say for instance we are doing a scoliosis surgery I would review the patient's x-rays, I would review their labs again and I would just go over the steps in my head of the steps of surgery because when it went as a resident once you get into the operating room it's game time you're expected to know exactly how to do the surgery 
because if the attending has to step out, you're in charge. So you, you have to know how to do the surgery. So usually what I do is wake up and I will review my surgery notes that I take, uh, review the patient's charts, and uh, eat breakfast. And that's how my, my morning routine is. And it, it usually varies by the day and also by the rotation, but uh, that's my uh, kind of morning routine. I hope this video helps. Make sure you guys subscribe as I will be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I got a lot of new hot content coming for you guys. I'm very excited for this, especially the careers in medicine um, series, and I'll put a link right up here for you guys. Make sure you guys check that out. Anybody that you want me to feature, any particular fields that you want me to feature, let me know and I'll try to get that done. We'll see you next time.